really good start there. A tough team. We I've played Jean Michel. I think he kind of got started in Briars when I did, and we've had a lot of a lot of games and a lot of battles, and, and every game close. And we know how good they are. So, yeah, it was good to uh, good to win Hammer and good to get up a little, a little jump early and get a handle on the ice. And uh, yeah, we had a good game. Yeah, you're not going to go to the well many times. Uh, you know the way last year went. That's for sure. Um, you know, I've been on both sides of the coin uh, a lot, and uh, it's tough digging yourself out of a hole here, and especially with uh, with any field, any Briar field, just let alone this one. So, uh, yeah, it's important to get off. Uh, you know, the important thing more so than the than the win is playing well for us and and building on that, and uh, and we played well and we got something to build on. Just talk about the vibe in the building today too. Yeah, awesome, great crowd. Uh, I like, I love the building. I love the kind of you know the the full one side, and then the other side's kind of it, it looks neat and it's uh, something different. And the uh, crowd was fantastic. You're in the Tim Hortons Briar, for real. How's that feel? <laughs> yeah, it feels kind of. It was feeling pretty good, but then the way that last end went, uh, we got pretty lucky. Uh, they had a good end. We made a couple of real bad mistakes, and uh, and he had a shot to beat us. So it's kind of taken a taken it a bit away from it right now. We played a great nine ends and had one bad end. So I'm sure after we go and eat, we'll be we got to play tonight, so we don't have a lot of time to to regroup. So you know, it's just kind of a stunned feeling because he had that shot to win and we snuck it out. I know you guys uh, put a lot of hard work into getting to this scenario, obviously bringing Chris up and, uh, and you reshaping your delivery basically from scratch. Uh, is, there, is there, knowing what you've accomplished today, uh, is, there, is there a payoff in some ways? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're uh, we're one of the strongest teams I think we've ever been. Um, we just we got a lot of confidence out there, especially with Chris. And Chris brings a lot to the game around strategy, you know, from his from his, all his experience. So um, we're really missing that. And I, he really has an opinion that I, I, I really appreciate. And he can make a lot of shots at third. And uh, you know, with my new delivery and everything that uh, we put in place, I think I can throw some higher percentages out there and everything. And it's kind of shaping up so far. So you know, hopefully, uh, step one is to get in. Now uh, you know it's. Uh, what do you wish for? Now you got that field to face, so um, you know we're playing well. So hopefully we can uh, keep it going and get some get some more good breaks. No, no gimmies at all. Um, it's going to be tough, but uh, you know if we're going to get better, these are the teams we want to be facing. Uh, you're going to have to learn to play them and learn to learn to stick with them, and hopefully you get the good breaks in the end, uh, similar to this one to win a game, I guess. Welcome back to the Tim Hortons Briar. Al, this never gets old. This is this is so much fun. That's what it's all about. Playing one of the best teams in the world, and Kevin Cooey, and we snuck out a win there. Uh, the boys drove, you know, swept that one perfect to the edge of the button. I'm, I'm ecstatic. Couldn't uh, couldn't be happier. It's just a matter of hanging in there. You know that team, what they're going to give you, and lots of uh, big weight takeouts. Kevin threw a couple doubles oh, at you there. Yeah. Unbelievable. Like I, I actually thought we curled them in the first half, and they're up three one. And Kevin made a great uh, run double. He and then we, we kind of put a little good pressure on them. They kept making shots. Kevin kept making angle raise doubles, whatever. They put a little pressure on. We'd get out of it. I thought it was a great game. I thought it was a terrific game, and uh, somehow we snuck it out. What was it like sharing that with your boy? <laughs> you have no idea what that means. It's absolutely, uh, it's incredible to get that uh, the first win with Scotty. I, I, I love I love playing in the home province, uh, and, and Ottawa obviously is no exception. They're a fantastic crowd. I thought they were very, very uh, congenial crowd. They were cheering for all great shots, and that's what the good crowd does. And then obviously a little bit more loud for her, her Ontario, and uh, I love it. I just it, uh, it gets the adrenaline going. It's another point in the board. Uh, you're not an Alberta coach anymore. What the heck, Jules? Yeah, I know. I just came out of the... Out of the wilderness here, I was all relaxed, and all of a sudden I got a call from Brad, and didn't even know if I was free, and checked it out, and I said, "What the heck? Can go, can go worse with Brad? <laughs> Probably over the last four or five years, he beat us as much as we beat him. We knew he was good because Kevin always thought he was the best curler right now, and uh, I spent ten days at the trials with him, so I sort of got to know him. And then today, holding the broom for the hot shots, <laughs> I can see why. Yeah. I mean, it's just true as could be." Yeah, you betcha. It's sort of a relaxed group, and uh, I've got an Albertan in there, you know, and uh, it's, it's fun. It's fun being with them. You know, I, I sort of got conditioned to it because I know you might as well relax for eight ends because it's kind of come down to the last end. Somebody's going to have to make a draw or a shot. It's amazing how good the games were today. Right. Yeah. Fun to watch? Oh, too tight. <laughs> but it was a heck of a day today considering everything.